I thought you made a very interesting perceptive interception talking from the mm -hmm. South American point of view. But if we could talk about the G20 in general, and mm -hmm. as a South American uh, academic mm -hmm. economist, uh, what are you looking for from the G20? <laughs> well, uh, I think that the uh, 6,000 million people that live on this uh, planet would love to have certain answers to the, to the big questions and answers to the crisis. But what we see is that everybody is, is running around like a hen, hens without a head. And uh, what we perceive is that the Americans uh, and the Chinese have uh, they started a new special relationship that will mean that certain topics in the world will not be held high in the U.S. agenda like human rights, like environment, um, like um, um, poverty relief and things like that, because we understand that at the moment the crisis overtakes any other topic. And to give a solution to the financial crisis, I think that the Western economies must um, do some penitence and must understand that what they have preached to the rest of the world, they have not um, applied to themselves. And one of the reasons we are in this mess is that whatever they recommend us to have balance, uh, de balance uh, um, uh, government deficits, uh, balanced um, e exchange of markets and things like that, they have not worked. And why? Because you have overconsumed. There's been talk tonight about the dangers of protectionism, suggestions that perhaps a, a global financial overhaul is needed, but do you think that can ever come about? Perhaps because of what you've just been saying, that mm -hmm. there's the West, there's South America, there's Asia, perhaps will always follow their own particular agenda. Do you think that? Um, let's put it this way. Every nation, every sovereign nation has its national agenda. And the reason we collectively wanted to do some action was that we understood that if we acted as a group, who, the humanity will be better off. But the context in which we apply these policies has changed. When you have um, uh, half a million people losing their jobs every day in the U.S., every month in the U.S., and when you have the fiscal deficit they're going to have, that means that uh, this collective action or thinking in a multilateral way Will, is not in, in Barack Obama's best interest since he has to respond to the American people. So many issues that were supposed to be a part of the globalization agenda, the good issues about globalization, are no further due. Because what I think is that the globalization crisis the globalization is going to bring the crisis of the welfare state in the Western economies. And if you undermine the fundamental social contract that you have in these economies, I think that forget the rest of, you know, enviro environment, uh, poverty relief of the third world. If the fundamental social contract of the Western society is undermined, I think that you will face bigger trouble than a financial crisis because you will see a political crisis. That's quite, this is my last question, that is quite a, a doomy prognosis, a, a forecast. I mean, in terms of looking at what G20 or G20 is further down the line, you, you, you sound, you're sounding quite pessimistic. Well, um, let's put it this way. Um, at the moment, uh, there's a big difference when you deal with America and then with Europe or the European Union. In America, you have 15 federal states, but they, ha they recognize one president. In Europe, you have 25 sovereign countries, and you elect a representative of those countries every six months. But that person does not run their, each of those 25 sovereign countries. So what you have is a very difficult exercise, a difficult, very difficult political balance of what these uh, big economies within Western Europe represent and the small players. That they, have, that they have the same voting rights as you. So there's no way 
you're in this mess, you're going to coordinate emergency policies when every decision must be accepted by 25 different governments. 